Hi everyone, uh, this topic I'll talk about Delta AS E-Circuit function called ASFE CAT uh, initialization. So the system architecture we will use the AS300 with the E-Circuit function card then connect to first is the A2E, then second will be A3, A3E. And for this function card it can control up to 16 A6. Uh, here's the parameters that you have to set up for the control mode uh, for A2E uh, P1-01 or H3E uh, P1-001. This one we will set to 1 means a PR mode. Then for the station or node ID uh, P3-00 uh, uh, or P3-00. Uh, this one for A2E we set 1 and uh, H3E we set 2. Uh, next we move to the ISP soft setting. So the ISP soft here you must use the uh, version 3 of point 16 and uh, for A300 series the uh, firmware should be uh, version 1.12 onwards version. And for the hardware configuration basically here I uh, just want to remind uh, you have to set up the ESA port. And today's example we use the uh, X2 this port. So uh, for the setting inside hardware config, please modify to X2. And if you want to use uh, X1, then you just uh, modify the setting over here. Uh, move on to the programming portion. So as I mentioned, uh, here we need to use the initialization command. Okay, so you can find more information uh, from this uh, EtherCAD API. So this, this API name is uh, INITEC. Basically similar to the uh, can open one, but this one will become easy, means easy again. So the first one is uh, for the step number. So step number, as I mentioned, you can support up to 16 A6. So the value will be from one to 16. So if you have a uh, four A6, then you just uh, set the value to four. And next would be the slab type. For slab type, uh, if you define one means A2E, two means uh, A3 or B3E. Then if you use a uh, Delta BFD, then just uh, set to three. So uh, back to the programming portion. Here we will define uh, two A6 because uh, today we connect on only A2E and A3E. Then for the uh, slab type here, we will define a uh, array. And remember this array you should define with a word uh, with a 16. Then define this uh, drive type. And then for uh, first drive we connect is A2E. So here, uh, please remember to define this one as uh, A2E. Then uh, second drive is uh, A3E. So here we put two. And then here is another uh, new API for uh, EtherCAD device. So first one already mentioned for the EtherCAD initialization. Second one is uh, EtherCAD uh, STO rewrite. Then uh, we can read the motion state of EtherCAD slab and uh, read the state of uh, EtherCAD. Uh, now move to the software parts. And this, this one already mentioned for the uh, slab type. Here we have to define the array with uh, 16 words. Okay. Then uh, this is what I mentioned. Uh, we, you can double click the hardware config and then uh, set the EtherCAD port to X2. And you can download a setting. Okay. Okay, then here we can uh, switch online. And uh, before that, you can check the POC firmware version. Okay, now we switch online and then uh, enable this. This is uh, I mentioned. For one is a uh, E2E, two is a uh, H3E or P3E. Then we can uh, do the initialization. So once you set uh, do the correct uh, configuration, you will show initialize are done. And then we will do the servo on. And next I will show you we monitor the speed uh, from Astasop. So here we give uh, 1000, so that means the speed at the driver motor side will be uh, 100 RPM. So now we can uh, switch to Asta Soap and click scope function. Okay, so for the first channel, we uh, select the motor speed and run. 
So you can see now it's a zero and later we go back to the POC program and then uh, enable this. Then we can go back to check. So you can see the speed is around uh, 100 RPM. Okay, so that's all for today's topic. Thank you.